In the previous video, we have seen that the closure property is satisfied for all the four operations on rational numbers. In this video, we will look at the commutative property. The commutative property is also very simple to understand. To know if it's satisfied for addition, we have to ask ourselves, does a plus b equal b plus a, where a and b are rational numbers? If yes, then the commutative property is satisfied for addition of rational numbers. Consider addition of two random rational numbers, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3. The LCM of 4 and 3 is 12, so this can be written as 3 by 12 plus 4 by 12. This rational number is the equivalent of this one and this rational number is the equivalent of this one. And adding both numbers, we get 7 by 12. This was a plus b. Now let's change the order. Now we write 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. Again, the LCM of the denominators is 12. Using the concept of equivalent rational numbers, we can write this as 4 by 12 plus 3 by 12, which gives us 7 by 12. In both the cases, we get the same answer, 7 by 12. For this reason, we can say that 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 equals 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. And this will be the case for any two rational numbers. So we can say that the commutative property is satisfied for addition of rational numbers. Let's move on to the next operation now, subtraction. To know if it's valid for subtraction, we just check if a minus b equals b minus a. We consider two random rational numbers again. Let us try out 2 by 3 minus minus 1 by 5. This is of the form a minus b. First, we find this result and then see the result of this minus this. The two negative signs cancel out and it can be written as 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Making the denominator same, we can write this as 10 by 15 plus 3 by 15. This is 2 by 3 and this is 1 by 5. Adding the numerators over the denominator, we get 13 by 15 as our answer. Now let's try minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 3. This can be written as minus 3 by 15 minus 10 by 15. Subtracting the numerators over the common denominator, we get minus 13 by 15. So we can see 2 by 3 minus minus 1 by 5 does not equal minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 3. So this property is never satisfied for subtraction of two different rational numbers. For multiplication, we have to find out if a multiplied by b equals b multiplied by a. Yes, the commutative property is always satisfied for multiplication of rational numbers. And to test it for division, we need to check if a divided by b is equal to b divided by a. If you try this for two different rational numbers, you will notice that the commutative property is not satisfied for division. To find out if the commutative property is satisfied for an operation, all you need to do is find out if A operation B is equal to B operation A. If yes, then the property is satisfied. 